This tutorial covers only the objectives for the course and how the modules fulfill those objectives. And these are the course objectives here in the syllabus. English 101, College Reading and Comprehension 1. If the prerequisite is English 28 or 300 or 363 or English as a second language. Uh, these are the prerequisites and those all came with certain skills that you see listed in the syllabus as well. And now we get down to the course objectives, which this course introduces students to academic reading and writing. That means that instead of writing texts, instead of writing letters, we're going to be writing essays that are fun and that contain information that you are interested in. And so we want reading and writing. Also, I include film study because I think that visual learners should be allowed to express that as well. So I've added uh, visual learning. Critical thinking. Critical thinking is going to be is going to take place immediately in the very first exercise that serves two purposes. First, it proves to me that you are brilliant, and it proves to yourself that you are brilliant. And second, it takes you right straight up into critical thinking, and off you go from there. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. And students will use their creative, compositional, and critical thinking. So that is the part of the essay that is the final essay, which is a creative assignment. Let's look at the modules together. This part of the syllabus shows us that there are eight modules and that the writings associated with this course will be that first critical thinking exercise, a fun research exercise called birthday babies, and next is a narrative exercise where you read a story paragraph and explain to me why that story is colorful. How does it paint a picture? I want to expand your vocabulary. Texting has robbed us all of our vocabulary. Instead of writing a descriptive word, there's an emoji, which I think are kind of fun. And anybody that's a friend of mine knows that when I text them, I'm going to text them some sort of little emoji. But it's robbed us of our words. And so I want to, I want to improve and expand on your vocabulary. Okay, then there's a fun reading exercise and the films that you're going to watch and review. And that would be a short documentary and it's a short uh, narrative film. It can be an episodic pilot, pilot episode. It cannot be episode season six, episode two. It needs to be the pilot season. So that's the very first episode of any series. If you're interested in it, I'm interested in it. Okay. Uh, then we come down to the essays that you're going to be writing. The first essay is actually one paragraph long, and that is my music. And you will pick a piece of music that you love that has meaningful lyrics that mean something to you, and the instructions will be located there. The next essay is a five-paragraph essay, so we go from one paragraph to five paragraphs, and it's everybody's favorite assignment, and it's called Americana. And I've yet to have a student that didn't just love this assignment. I think you'll have lots of fun with this. And then we have the highest ranked essay, weighted essay in the course, and that's Dinner Party. Also, another fun essay to write, and it's persuasive. I love persuasive essays, don't you? Don't you just love persuading somebody to see it your way? I love it. And then the final essay, which is the creative part that you saw in our course objectives, is the final creative essay where you actually write a story yourself following guidelines and following some requirements. Okay, now let's swing over to where those modules are. I've clicked modules in the left menu bar and that takes me where we are right here. And these are the modules. And they aren't opened up yet. They will be opened up by the time you get into the course. Let's look at them once they are opened up. Start Here menu contains everything you know to get started. Remember, you need to lock some topics. You need to make some choices. And I'll tell you why. The lock your topic for Americana 
is because one time I had a class, two classes of 92 students, and 50 of them picked the same town. Now, y'all, they didn't cheat. They didn't mean to. They were all just interested in the same town because it's right here in California. So that's why we're going to lock topics and make sure everybody does something different. It's not because they did anything wrong. They didn't. They just all got excited about the same town because somebody mentioned it in a discussion board and everybody said, oh, I'll do that too, right? So we don't want that. Then you have your final topic. You think, what am I doing talking about my final essay in the first week of school? That's right. You're just talking about it. It doesn't mean you're doing anything. It means that you've selected one of the images. Images? What images? Well, let's look. I'm going to click on this and go to that discussion board. Now here I am over in discussions, and this is going to be something you'll discuss with your cyber cafe group. And this is what I see when I open up that discussion board. I see what activity is going on within your group. There's a tutorial. Now what we're looking for is an image that you're going to select. What? What are these? That's right, images! Once I click that, the little images are going to show up down here. And I have them uh, saved as a Microsoft Word document because it's easy to copy those and add those to your account in your Canvas page. Account? What account? Let me show you real quick. Back over here in the course, you will see that you have an account. And in your account, you will be able to add files. You'll be able to add images. You can even add videos. You can add all kinds of things to your, your image. So, I mean, your folder. So when you choose that image and save it, you would just come over to your account, upload that image, and save it to your list. Back to the module. I've now opened that Word document, and by the way, I believe Word comes with your Outlook account, which comes with your student email account, so I think you should be able to get Word and be able to see these. Just in case that's a problem, I'm also going to save this as a PDF. So let's look at it as a Word document first. So here are some instructions for the narrative, and these are the little quick fact checks before you ask me. Can I pick a picture of my own? No. You can the next time you write an essay. Why? Because there are images in motion, and I want this to be an assignment where you tell a story about an image in motion. And can I pick my own motion? No. Uh, why I don't like any of these pictures? Pick one for this assignment. Later, when this class is over, you can write one about anything you want. And these are awesome pictures. So you're going to pick one of these. In this case, you don't have to lock it. You can pick the same thing that somebody else is picking, but your story is going to be completely different. So here are some images for you to choose from. Could I ever write a story about that? Oh, man, oh, man. Little babies. There are lots of images on here. I'm going to scroll quickly. And you will pick one of these images that you think you could write a story about. Aww. And... Any, any one of these images is just fine. And they go on and 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 on, and you will pick one that you like. And I will also show these as PDF. So let's say that you try to upload this image right here. This is the one you're going to do. This one has stolen your heart, and this is the one that you're going to do. Well, you're going to enable editing to start with. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to that picture. I'll be right back. So this is the one I want. This is a link to where that image is, which may or may not work. On some browsers they work, some browsers they don't. But I'm still going to be able to get this picture. If I can't right-click it and download it, then I can do a screenshot. I'm going to use this little snipping tool, and I'm going to just go ahead and get that image this way. And I'm going to save it to wherever I'm saving it. Right? Fun? So, one way or another, I'm going to pick one of these images, and that's what I'm going to use for my story. Now, I'm going to, maybe I'll change my mind as the semester goes on. Okay, if I change my mind, 
Usually, when students go through these images and they look at every one, the one that first catches their eye is going to be the one that's going to inspire them to tell a story. Usually. But you can change your mind later and just let your cyber cafe know that you've changed something. But let's go back to the pinned discussion board. Right, so it's first week of school. I'm going to discuss this topic. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click reply. And I'm going to, because I saved that image to my account, like I just showed you, I'm going to put that image in here with a working title. And I'm going to say to my cyber cafe, hey, here's my story. And right off the top of my head, I'm thinking that this is a fabulous actress and was once a Broadway shining star and has now been, you know, didn't get booked and things. And so now they're in this deep dive in Paris and they're going to be doing cabaret shows. I don't know, but just write down what you're thinking about and share that with your cyber cafe. They're going to in kind reply to your post and tell you what they think or ideas that they might have or somebody they know that might have been in that, whatever it is. You know, that's what you do. So that's all you got to do on week one for the begin the discussions. Y'all, there's only one thing that really upsets me, and that's when somebody comes in the last day of school and tries to add stuff to a discussion board that was due months ago. I don't like it. Okay, let's go back to the modules now that you see how the discussion boards work. Okay, back to modules. Okay, so we have some important things to study first. We've done all this. We've done the open form. There are instructions in there, too. And we're in, with, we're in with these beginning things that we need to do. Now we're ready to go to Module 1, which is the Welcome Module, that shows you some things about the course, about me, the syllabus, the outcomes. This isn't the fun part of the course, I won't lie, but I do need for you to go through and study this. You need to know what the participation policy is because it's a percentage of your grade. You want to know about using library resources because you're going to need those and how to submit PDFs. Now we've done that. That's not going to take you that long. These are not long pages. They're just important things for you to know about our classroom. Now we come down to the study documents. And you think, well, I'll just skip over these and go right to the assignments. That's folly. That's foolish. You're going to need to study all of these. And they don't take that long. You can see there aren't that many. There's a little tutorial about this, that, and the other. This is a super fun little thing. You don't have to do anything with it. You just have to watch this. It's a lot of fun. And now we've researched all of that. We're ready to move on. And we go to basic skills, my music. You saw that in the syllabus under that first essay. It's just one paragraph, but it's one, I mean, basic writing skills. Sorry, this is basic writing skills. There's your grammar assignments. This is proved to you right off the bat that you're brilliant. Right there, right there, right there. And then birthday babies, which is a lot of fun. Discussion board, that discussion board is with your cyber cafe group as well. And then a, a third grammar assignment, which is showing you how to use EasyBib. Remember when I talked about some of the assignments that we're going to be doing, you want to cite your research. I told you that in the welcome here statement. Well, this is the way to do it and it's super easy. So you have a little assignment for that. And then you have a little assignment for a narrative paragraph, which is a storytelling paragraph. And that's it. Those are all the basic writing skills uh, assignments that you have to do. Fun? Well, you'll want to do them. Okay, next is, now we come to my music. And that's where you're going to choose a piece of music where the lyrics speak to you, and you will follow the step-by-step -step instructions that are available in both tutorials and in a PDF, and you will take care of that. This is a repeat of how to use those easy bib tutorials. We're done with that one. And now we go on to Americana, everybody's favorite. The darling of English 101 is Americana. This is a, an essay where you're going to, I have a globe, and you're going to pick up a little town, 25,000 people or less, here in the United States of America, and you're going to research that town, and you're actually going to talk to people in that town. And I will tell you, and I've told you in the tutorials that are in there too, super fun, so many times my students have called those p townspeople, maybe it was the librarian or the chamber of commerce person or someone, and they say, I'm writing a story about your town, 
and I wanted to know some things about it and so forth. And they were like, Hollywood has come to town. Oh, several students have had their essays published in the newspapers in these little towns, and that's a big thing. So it's really fun. It's a beautiful little essay, lots of fun to do, and it achieves all of our criteria for a five-paragraph essay. So those state course objectives are all met in this exercise. We just are doing it in a fun way. And then next comes the, we take five paragraphs and expand those. Still the same principle, but we have multiple paragraphs now because we're writing more details, and this is a persuasive essay favorite and it is one of the objectives for you to learn so you're going to host a dinner party and you're going to find a current cause today i don't care what the cause is that you pick but it's a cause and you'll see in my step-by-step -step tutorials how i went through the process of selecting a topic and then determining who was going to come to my dinner party and who would be the featured guests so all of this is in here and then you have a proposal because you want to make sure you're on the right track. You don't want to write a final essay that's such a high weighted grade and then find out that you weren't on the right track. So you want to start with this proposal and you do that proposal after you've picked a cause and after you've done some initial research and made some additional choices. Now, obviously from the proposal to the final draft, of the essay, things are going to change. But the proposal lets me see what track you're on so I can chart and make sure that what you want to do in your essay is what you end up doing in your final edit. Yes? Good. Super, very rewarding essay. People pick, students pick some of the most incredible causes. Uh, it's fantastic. You all are so awesome. And then we have a nice little break. And you get to do the little film study. You pick a short documentary, and there's just a small assignment that goes with that where you explain to me the bias of that documentary, right? We know everything has a bias. And then the short narrative film where you watch a short narrative film or an episodic pilot for any of the shows that are currently on, and you answer a few questions about that. And then there's just a little bit of information about creating live action characters. And that's the end of that little module. And then we get into the masterpiece, which is your final essay. And yes, because it's a weighted essay, there are a lot of instructions for that. But, and you do have the discussion where you saw that before. And you have a proposal, which is where you show me what your story is gonna be about. Again, you don't wanna go in and make a whole story up and then find out that it wasn't what was assigned. So you do have a proposal that's due prior to the uh, submission of the final essay. And all of the elements are shown in there. And that, my friends, is the end of the course. And then we will all feel smart and everybody will have a rewarding experience and it will all have been a delightful experience where you made new lifelong friends and enjoyed everything every step along the way and you will find that it, as you move on to university coursework after this or higher division courses at the, on this campus that you will know how to write a beautifully organized essay with a thesis sentence with a topic sentence and i show you how to do that throughout the process and it's just a lot of fun and very gratifying so have a good time and I hope this lets you know where everything that's right up front. I hate surprises. I want you to see everything that's coming your way. All right, that concludes this tutorial.